like we always do at this time. All in together now. All in together now. Because there's some things that they, they, they just ain't tell us about George Floyd. There's a lot of shit they didn't tell us about George Floyd. And why didn't some of his hip-hop friends step up when this happened to him? Why ain't some of his friends of hip hop come out and say, "This guy here is the the guy is one of the, one of the lead guys who started the Screw music with DJ Screw. He worked side by side with him, did songs with him, possibly even did songs with Meg the Style, your mother, because she was part of the screwed up clique, and so was he. Nobody never told us this here. And then while Big Bob Bob Bun B, you shouted out the screwed up posse or the screwed up click so many times in your songs and you didn't even show them love, Bun B. But you made it like you was just finna start being a revolutionary because you tired of seeing the black man. It's bigger than that. It's deeper than that. Now, I'm gonna just skip that. Listen, ask yourself this. Who is getting the rights to his music? Who is getting the right to DJ Screw music? Because now I find it to be funny that Jay Prince wanted to sign Meg Thee Stallion or had Meg Thee Stallion was acting like, I don't know, did he act like he knew her moms? Because he had to know her mother too. Her mother knew these guys. I'm sitting here eating, y'all. Don't pay me no mind. I ain't even going to chew in y'all ear today. I'm going to be respectful and cordial. But anyway, listen. Listen, they probably going to hit me for this, but... I don't own the rights to this music that's about to be played. And I'm using it for educational purposes, please. Anyway, long story short, that was George Floyd. Meg Thee Stallion, you got to know him because your mother dedicated a song to his friend. Jay Prince got to know him. Willie D, Scarface, all these people from Texas has to know him. He wasn't, he wasn't born in Texas. He grew up in Texas. He went that thing when he was a teenager, in his teenage years. And he got into music, and he they hooked up with DJ Screw, and they came together and formed the Screw Music. He had he was very influential in it. He even he even mentored young men in a church, in a Baptist church. He was a mentor. So everybody just wants to say, "Oh, George Floyd was a crackhead guy. Why would he be a crackhead?" Because if you even go back and check this video, people, this video here has 190K views since May 2020. When did he die? Who's getting the money for George Floyd? See, because they made it like this man was broke. He needed handouts. And people was coming to us. We're going to help him. You ain't have to help him. Just give him his money that he made from doing all his music and all his rights to the songs and the stuff that he wrote. He wrote music for people. He composed music for people all in Texas. Big names, too. And big names that didn't even step up and said that they knew him while people called him a crackhead, truck driver, a security guard, and all the above. But this is the George Floyd that you don't know. This is the George Floyd. He all about the dollar. The cops seen him holler. But you niggas out like y'all ain't know him. And then y'all put him in some. What was he doing out there? Who was he hiding from? Meg Thee Stallion, you ain't say you know him. But okay. We'll let you live on that. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm that dude who always trying to stir up a pot. Trying to get people in trouble, as y'all said. Which is none of the above. I just see what your eye don't see. And what my eye see is why. Now look, I'm going to show y'all something else about George Floyd. Now, you remember when they put this picture up when he passed away, right? Now, this picture here 
went to one of his his albums. They never even they never even discussed to say, hey, this guy was a rapper. He started out with DJ School because most of the people who could have came up and said that, hey, ABC, they are dead. And then it makes you ask the question, how did DJ School really die? Just like Pimp C. How did they die? Because Pimp C knew him too. He knew Pimp C too. He know Bum B. He know all these guys. They're not saying they know him. They never... Uh, have y'all seen the video where Bum B said he know this guy? And this picture here, here's the album it goes to. It's going down. Hold on the song. Boys on the stone. School Zulu putting it down. You know what I'm saying? Big four, I represent my mind. So red beard, going down like this. You know what I'm saying? Say you watch me lay low, never coming high. I'm a real G, say high till I... Now, what's disturbing that they put that picture up was the picture that they showed us there. That was the picture from the out from the, the I guess the debut record that him and DJ School did together. So he passed away. They showed us the picture, but they didn't tell us that he was DJ School's friend. They didn't tell us that DJ School friend passed away, who had a whole bunch of record sales on YouTube. God knows what other platform, because let me explain something else. If you go to this here song, people, that was put, and I noticed all this, it was produced, it was published May 20, 27, 2020. This song, whoever Thomas Hubert is, he's eating off this man legacy. This song got 426K since May. Now ask yourself, who's eating? Who is, who is Thomas Herbert? Who, Hubert? I don't know who he is, but this is the name that I come up with. And I know that it's this guy with the skull head on his thing. Because look at this, out of all the videos. Maybe it's just be his, his playlist. I don't know. You know? This guy, he got 2.61 subscribers. Whoever this guy is, they're getting a lot of views. Look, 426 of all these people. Maybe it's just being playlists. I don't know. I don't know. But my whole deal is, whoever this guy is, he went out his way to have a playlist. And that's who's getting pay, play, paid or finna get paid for these songs. And I'm almost sure, however this person is doing this here, However, he's doing this here. He's the name that's on all of his records, all of George Floyd records. And the name of that one was Big Floyd. It's called Big Floyd DJ School Sitting on Top of the World. We never knew that George Floyd was a rapper. Nobody never knew that. Nobody never knew that he did songs with pop, or he did music with possibly Meg the Stallion Mother. Who knew that? Whoever knew that he was part of the, cool, the, the Screwed Up Quick. Whoever knew that? Whoever knew that this man was was getting royalty payments off of the screwed up click music that he composed? Because that made it seem like he was a crackhead and ain't no way he could have got an SUV money and all this stuff from him. He was a fiend that put drugs in his fucking mouth when he seen the police. But I remind you, they saying that his partner died from drugs. They said school, let's go with high school died. Hey, Scarface, why didn't you step up? And you clearly had George Floyd standing right there in your video with the red and black on and black in back of this guy. Please don't ever, ever think that George Floyd was a fucking bum. They lied to you people. Then he goes standing right there in Scarface song. And this song is called F U. This song was published in 2016. 2016, y'all knew him then. Y'all knew that he was part of the screwed up clique because this is the screwed up clique right in back of Scarface. You understand what I'm saying? Don't ever let this hip hop shit fool you. That's George Floyd standing right back there with the red and black. Do you like a bum to y'all? Do you like the dope thing that they told y'all about? Do you ever like him standing right there? Is that who he was? No, no. They lied to you. They didn't want you to know because let me tell you something. This here shit has something to do with the rap. And I'm going to tell y'all, this man had royalties in school music, in screwed up entertainment and all that shit. He is one of the founder members that killed them off 
and then made like he was a, a security guard crackhead. A security guard crackhead. Ain't that's what ain't that's how they portrayed him? Don't ever be fooled what they put in y'all face. And hold up. See, cause they're gonna try to be funny. I'm gonna try to show y'all something else. See, so I guess since he was in the song telling the cops, fuck you. That's why the cop did him dirty, because that's what this song is about. He said the he telling the cops, fuck you. How real is that? A cop killed him. And then when the cop killed him, the hip hop industry turned their back out like they didn't know who that man was. I, I, I heard, I, I seen a couple of interviews came out and said, yo, this is the member of school that, but the rap, the, I, I didn't see the, listen, Black Lives Matter was on his case more than the hip hop, more than Houston, Texas, anybody, because this man grew up in Texas. And if this is not enough proof for y'all, I don't even know what else to tell y'all, man. I can't wake you up, my nigga. You just stuck where you at. But since I think I woke some of y'all up, leave a comment down below. And if you didn't know that George Floyd was down with Scarface, Bun B, um, Jay Prince, Jay Prince, who had Meg Thee Stallion. And then this is what's funny, because Jay Prince had Meg Thee Stallion, right? Jay Prince had to know Meg Thee Stallion mother and then had to know this guy too the same way he knows Scarface. This is one of Scarface, I mean, this is one of Jay Prince artists right here that's on his label, Jay Prince. Scarface, one of his label mates. You mean to tell me that they didn't know who George Floyd was? Did y'all hear Jay Prince speak about George Floyd or speak and say, no, he was a, a, a hip-hop figure. They let him go down. Why do you think they made a big statue to him? Because he was a big sacrifice for who? I don't know. But we'll dig into this shit a little bit deeper because I did a story on George Floyd. The only thing we had to say is it was the guy who was on drugs who the cop put his knee on his neck. No, he, that ain't who he was. That ain't who George Floyd was. And go back and look at some of his music, y'all. Go check out some of his songs. He even did <laughs> a, a DJ school freestyle, Big Floyd. Rest in peace, George Floyd. Man, when I tell you this man had his own thing. Big Floyd, Cocktails, he's a solo of him rapping. We ain't even gonna play that. George Floyd, AKA Big Floyd, freestyle of a player. This man had music. Who stole his music? Who made him to be the thing that they made him be on the camera? And that's, and that's, and that's very interesting to find out because they never portrayed a certain, look, look out of all this stuff, Right here, the one with the um with the moral breaking down George Floyd connection to Houston school music. Why didn't they put that on the camera and stay putting what they put up there? Made like, oh, he was a fiend. He was a fiend. Can't nobody, Big Floyd. That man got mad music out. Why didn't we know that he was a hip hop artist? Brick boys. <laughs> Look into what these people be trying to do. The game is dirty, man. The world's a stage, everybody gotta play their part. Whoever stole his man music, because I'm telling you, it's about his music. And all his songs got mad views, yo. 30K, 71. I'm not saying that he... Somebody's getting paid off his music. Who's to stop him? But anyway, genius, 71,000. You know. Listen here. Look at this one. 163K right here. The freestyle, 163K. This one here, 43K. 15K. The man did numbers. He freestyled. He was a rapper. People were like, look, he kind of put you in. He almost looked like Scarface. I swear to God, what was him and Scarface related? The man looked like Scarface. And always remember, Scarface did get a new kidney when he died, then he a uh, new liver, whatever it was. Hmm. I'm going to leave that right there, y'all. 700, man. I'm out of here like last year, y'all. Go find out who the real big Floyd, George Floyd is before they tell you he's a fiend and he's really not. This your boy Costa Don signing out. Peace.